There's your own front of the boat. Are you as big as you act? You are. You are bigger than you act. Holy crap. All right, folks, we got number 15, big old biggin. Little different opening today for whatever reason. April 11th, the video, the day I made this video, I did not do an opening. Just went straight to fishing. I get all excited when I think about fishing, so sorry. Anyhow, we were fishing in Lake of the Ozarks. Uh, around the 53, 54 mile marker, so we catch some good fish. We catch some small fish, but obviously that's a little peek inside the tent. But anyway, don't go nowhere. It's going to be a good, good video. Hey, while you're here, go ahead and hit like and subscribe. And go ahead and share. It'll be all right. You can do it. All right, we got pallet bed at 25 feet. There's some fish in it. I don't think anything looks very big, but... It looks like there might be a pretty good one sitting right in the very top. Got my jig right through them. Actually, I'm not right on them. Close, but not where I want to be. I'll get it just a little bit closer. Well, that's two bad casts in a row. Can we do three bad casts in a row? I have confidence in myself. I think I can. Alright, this time, fish on. Uh oh, uh oh. There we go. Lake of the Ozarks. Keeper crappie. And that's what we're, you know, that's what we're looking for. If we get a big one, you know, they're getting ready to spawn. But if we can get a big one, that'll be cool too. But, um, you know what I did, guys? You'll be proud. I opened up the live well before I sit down. Possibly the first time this year. Alright, here I am right on top of them. There comes one. Come on, come on, come on, come on, big and get it. Oh, we got it. Except he's not a big one. We got him and he hog tied himself. So. H and H rod and reel, top hat jigs, white with uh, the blue flakes. Lake of the Ozarks. We'll catch you next year, crappie. So the water temperature is 66.54 degrees. So they've got nothing on their mind but spawning. We had a little chaser, but he, I don't think he's very big. And we might not stay out here. We're probably going to go shallow, shallower at three and four and five feet stuff. Oh, we had, we had a bite. Fish your home. Oh, this is going to. Oh, crap. I don't know how I lost him, but I did. All right, there they are at 10 feet. Right there. Fish home. It's gonna be he's gonna be a keep. Yeah, he's a keeper. There we go. Well, let's get out the measure stick. We don't wanna he's probably ten inches long, but until you catch one or two. So yeah, he's actually, there's nine, he's actually right there at 10, so ten, this just short of 10 inches. He's excited though, I think he wants to go for a boat ride. So with 10 feet, there's still a couple in there. I'm gonna go down a little bit further. If I get hung up, I get hung up. Nothing moved. Here comes, oh, here comes one. Let's go on up here to this next one and see. So we're gonna move fast and hard and, and um, try to scratch out a limit in an hour, hour and a half. It's, it's uh, what time is it? Five till five. So I work today. I'm sure a lot of you know what that means, what that's like, so. We all gotta do it. No, we got to, but life's a lot better with money. 
Fish on, but guess what? He is a uh, not so much pretty big. He doesn't got two or three little ones out of that one. We're gonna go to the next one. I can see a couple fish in it. It's not exactly loaded, but um why do I keep saying um I don't know. Oh um, no. Another fish on. When you see them coming and they're no bigger than your jig, not a good sign. But we're glad to have you in the lake. Two years from now, I'll probably catch that one again and be, he'll be, he might be a whoop whoop someday. But he's not no whoop whoop right now. We're in 6.3 feet of water, 66.27. So the, we've had two or three 80 degree days. So that water temperature is really warmed up. I didn't see my jig. Fish on. That fish saw it though. But he's got the same problem as the last two or three. So hopefully they get bigger. They can't get much smaller and catch them. That's a four inch crappie. 15 feet. Man, nothing. Give them one more cast, then we're gonna go find some more fish somewhere. We might have to even go shallow, shallower. With this water temperature getting so warm. They're probably thinking about spawning. Let's see if we can pick off that one on top. We did. We got him. He was sitting there being all big and brody. That's a good, it, not a good crappie, but I'm glad to have him. <laughs> it's not a bad crappie. Get in here, you big old sow. Look at there. He was just, she was just sitting right on top of that brush pile. Going, okay, wait, look at that big old mouth. Bet you can't catch me. Bet you can't catch me. Well, guess what? You lost that bet. Well, that one broke. All right, I got two, four, five, six poles ready, all H and H. I got three the exact same scenario because that's what's been working. Pink jig head, white with the blue flakes, top hat jig. All right, we haven't been out there with that one yet, but I don't see nothing in that one. I'm gonna give it a flyby because sometimes there'll be one hid that you don't see. Here we go. There's your own. Ain't gonna be a keeper. For sure and for certain. Yeah, it's gonna never get old. Ever, never, ever. It's another nice one. Not big, just nice. Another little female get, sitting out here getting ready to go spawn here in a week. Oh, well, maybe not even a week. Pretty soon. Look at that. She's actually got... You guys see that? She's actually got eggs. Hopefully you can see that. She's actually got eggs coming out right now. Well, that's cool. Wait a minute. We got another... Oh, that one looks loaded. That one looks loaded. Do I just cast off the screen? I'm gonna reel pretty fast just to come through that. But fish at home. He's not very big though. Ain't it crazy? We got 12 inch fish here and bulldozer doing bulldozer stuff up there. And cuties. Well, now they are all at 25 feet. We could get four or five out of there, which looks really possible. That'd be cool. All right, got one good one right on top. Fish on. He might, yeah, he's gonna be a keeper. He's a keeper. 
Well, we'll measure him. I don't know. Is he a keeper? What do you guys think? Yes or no? She got a big old fat belly. I'm gonna go. Oh, it's gonna be close. No. So we gotta be at the top of that black tape. But she's about eight and three quarters. She can go back. Make some babies. I didn't know bulldozers were so loud, but they are. I don't know what it is about people that own diesels that's just got to sit there and start it and let it run for no reason at all. That's just not pertinent anymore. Fish on! It might be another one of them eight and a half inches. I'm going to say this. No, 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 no. This one will keep. Let's see. Hell crap. Hell down, fella. Three days gonna get, oh yeah, he's almost, she, she's almost 10, so. Gotta be at the top of that tape to be an eye. She gets to go for, she gets to go home. There's plenty more there. Try to be careful and not get too close. I'm gonna go top of the brush pile this time. comes one fish on it'll be a keeper <laughs> it ain't big but it'll be eh, I don't know nope it's not we're gonna let this little girl go back and do her thing so she got a big old belly for no bigger than she is though go back there and make babies we'll catch your babies in four or five years so I should have threw about 31 or two feet. There she comes down. We've got a chaser already, but that ain't what we want. So we're going right through there right now. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, son of a gun! How do they keep coming off? I did not feel a bite. I seen a bunch of stuff moving on the live scope and I set the hook for no absolutely no reason at all. I think I'd be over that by now, but I'm evidently I'm not. Fish on. He gonna be another Well, I don't know. Nope. I don't know. Is it nine inches? I don't think it's gonna be nine inches. Yeah, it's, yeah, you'll be nice. So it's uh, nine, a little over nine and a half. All right. I don't know if you guys can hear that bulldozer, but men are loud. What I started to say a while ago was, what is it about owning a diesel? You got to start it and let it run for no reason at all. Fish on. Even in the summer, I don't understand that. What's it got to do? If it's 80 degrees, why does it need to warm up? Love to hear what you guys think in the comments. So with this little fish, and we're gonna let her go, so she can. She's about to poop in the boat. But she's this little fish. She's anxious to hear why we gotta start diesel trucks and let them run for absolutely no reason at all for two or three hours. Not two or three hours, but. You, if you guys are ever camped in a campground beside a guy that has a diesel, he'll start it early in the morning and a half hour before he's got to go to fish on. Half hour before he's got to go to work, just let it idle. Keep you awake. Uh-oh, we might have a keeper here. We got a keeper. We got a nice one. Get in here. <laughs> there we go. She's, she got a big old belly on her. She was sitting right on top of that brush pile. Top hat jig, she couldn't resist it. I'm gonna give her a whoop whoop, just cause she's pretty. Fish on, oh that's a keeper. That's a keeper. <laughs> it don't never get old. Get on in here with your big cell.
There we go. Another, another leg of the Ozarks. Just nice one. So he'd go out and start his truck at five. Sorry, I wouldn't be on the diesel tantrum if it wasn't for the bulldozer behind me. Here we go. That's what we're looking for. We'll try one cast at 20 feet. I'll have to stay high because that brush pile is not very deep. A lot of fish in it though. Fish on. I think he, he might be. Uh oh, he's getting bigger. <laughs> he ain't very big, but he's tough. All the male. See, this, this is a white crappie, and it's male. And he's up here making a nest. So you can see all of his, uh, see how black he is on the belly and stuff. So he, he's up here trying to get a, get a chick. He's got his, getting the chick colors on. But unfortunately for him, he's going to have to find a chick in my shed because he's going to go home and eat. We're going to eat him. I don't eat too. Fish on! Jeez, got a good old belly on her. Top hat jig, white with blue, blue fakes, fakes, flakes. We're gonna give her a whoop whoop just cause she's pretty. Stay up, up, up. Fish on. Uh oh, he's gonna be a keeper. He's definitely a keeper. She is. Yeah, we don't need to put her on the measure stick. She, her belly's not that big yet. Well, she, she's a fat old slimy thing. She, we're gonna give her a whoop whoop. Fish on. Front camera just uh, oh that's a good one too. <laughs> that might be the best one of the day. Here we go. Boop, boop. Top hat jig. It's, what color is this? It's kind of orange and chartreuse, I think. Well she it wasn't coming off. Big old belly. Let's put her in the measure stick just see how big she is she'll be over 12 yeah so she's she's 13 inches long i gotta go count fish because i've lost track back in a minute so anyway we got 14 that in the live well we're gonna, we're gonna hold out for one 12 inches or bigger out for a 12 incher but <laughs> I don't know buddy get in here oh you see a heavy sow are you going to be 12 inch? I don't think you are let's see look at there she is exactly there's 12 inch lines right there she is exactly just an eighth of an inch short of 12 inches. So. It's a lucky day. All right, let's get back to that brush pile. There'll be another one in there. Actually, several in there. Fish on. Nope, this one ain't it. But it's a nice one. Another nice one. But we don't even have to measure her. Boy, she's fat. Well, these fish are all staging up in these little brush piles and stuff like that, you know, whatever, little stick up, anything.
come up here and then sit for a little bit till that water temperature gets just right and then they're going to go up there and spawn so we've only caught one male the males are probably already up there on the bank making their nest and the girls are out here waiting i can see one or two in there that we we want we're right in the middle there's your own that's four or five uh-oh uh-oh nope just just a tough one it's a nice fish look at there Whoop. should we measure this one let's just see i bet it's 11. yeah get back here stop flopping i'll let you go so she is 11 so that top of that tape is 11 she's 11 and a eight 11 and a half that's not 12. fish on i think that's five casts in a row <laughs> another keeper but it's not what we want. And they're eating this chartreuse and orange tail up. There's your own front of the boat. Are you as big as you act? You are. You are bigger than you act. Holy crap. All right, folks, we got number 15, big old biggin. That fish will be, uh, that fish is pushing two pounds. So, that, crap, get back here. So she, she, settle down. She won't go even nowhere near in the measure stick. So, hey guys, thanks for watching. These fish are staging up and getting ready to spawn. These big old big girls that scatter out all over the lake and in the main channel are all up here in this shallow water. And I can't hold on to the fish. Are all up here in this shallow water getting ready to spawn. Big old mouth, big old belly. She's almost, she's not quite elbow long, but she's close. Big old good one, so. Thanks for watching, more to come. Woo -woo. Look at me going all amphibious and using my left and my right foot to, on a trolling motion. Am, amphidec, yeah, amphibious, amphidectrous. What's the word, Greg? I don't know. That fish is gonna follow me 10 feet and change its mind. The guy said, where do you wanna get? Oh, it don't matter. Well, not there. Well, how about here? No, not there. I think that's what's going on. Them fish that ch chase me and then don't bite.